Yeah, the only thing that I don't like about this camera is how quickly it will overheat. It doesn't fully overheat. It, it turns itself off before it can fully overheat, but it just says, hey, the internal, the internal part of this camera is getting too hot, shutting down. You know, it happens kind of quickly on this thing. Um, you know, this is if it's actually recording. If it's just displaying an image, it can stay on for a long time, but if it's actually recording, yeah, it, it, it gets hot pretty quick. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I, I'm, I'm quite happy about that. Um, I think just getting it out there of some of what I was going through really helped me. Um, something I was thinking about, though, is IG might have had a bit of a point in some of what he was saying initially in those videos where he was saying that he thinks, for him, he thinks that those who swear a lot uh, are unintelligent or uneducated. And from his perspective, that may be true, though it's a completely different experience than I've had, but I have different types of conversations with people than he does. Um, three of the smartest people I have ever met, ever known, swear excessively. And they don't necessarily word things in this, in a, uh, in an educated sounding way. Um, I don't associate one's use of language with how smart they are. I know for a fact that it's not actually a, a, a measure of that. Um, unless we're talking about a, 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 a linguist. I have that word right. <laughs> um, you know, someone who, who their entire thing is the study of language, and they could, you know, tell you just about everything about language, or just about any language, you know, that's, you know, that definitely takes some education, and for someone to retain that much information about those things, it would take quite a bit of intelligence. And to be able to do things with that information that they have. Now, there are people that can memorize things and then not do hardly anything with what they've memorized other than rant it off almost exactly the same way that it was given to them. They don't process it and turn it into something that's really usable. And there's lots of people like that. In fact, you find that a lot with, with some of the, the, the gender studies stuff, you know? Um, <laughs> You, you find this in a number of, of, of uh, uh, studies uh, where people don't really take those things they've learned and apply them to other things. Um, but uh, where I'm going with this, though, is we all profile. And profiling, the main component of profiling is prejudice. We prejudge. We all do it. We'd like to think that we don't do it, but we do. No matter how much we try to claim that we don't, we do. And it is part of our our survival instincts. I mean, if we didn't do that, we we probably wouldn't have lasted this long, you know? We, we don't have the limbs, we don't have the physicality that would have allowed us to survive unless we we're able to see something and go, oh, this is similar to what this was, and this is similar to what this was. This might act like this. You know, even just traffic. There could be someone that's driving a certain way. They're not necessarily, you know, staying in this spot that's, that's an opening between, you know, two cars, uh, you know, in front and back of each other. Um, but you can just see this pattern in the way they're driving, and you go, I'm betting they're going to want over. So, you drive in this way so they'll be able to pass you, and bam, they go in front of you. 
You know, they go into the lane in front of you. Or you speed up a certain way and they go in back of you, you know. But you, you see this certain pattern and you're like, oh, they're going to they're, they're gonna want over. Even though they never signal, they never, you know. But you just have this hunch. You can see this pattern. You know. Should we judge ourselves because we saw that pattern and, you know. Or do we just know that, hey, this is part of our survival instincts. It's also, it can be used to be courteous. Um... That's another side of this thing, too, you know, if a lot of these social justice warriors actually want people to be prejudiced, positively pre prejudiced, they want people to see that someone has a, matches a certain demographic, they want peop us to profile people and then treat them more positively based on the way that we profiled them treat them with more respect because of the way we profiled them. And uh, that's kind of interesting. And then it's actually part of prejudice. Um, but yeah, I mean, we all profile. And for us to judge ourselves negatively because we do this seems odd. The only time that we should be judging ourselves negatively over this is if we're treating people poorly because of our prejudice. Um, you know, you see some middle-aged woman who has this, they have this certain way that they wear their hair, uh, a certain color type, certain outfits, certain makeup styles, and you go, that's a fundamentalist Christian woman. You know right away it's a fundamentalist Christian woman, and maybe there's a point zero one chance that you might be wrong, you know? And salespeople, salespeople, some of their very, the only way they can do really do their job is if they're profiling, you know, the good salespeople anyway. And then there could be some people say, well, that's, that's not good then. They, they shouldn't do that. To, well, that's how they make sales, you know. Uh, but there are certain demographics that we're told we are not allowed to do that ever, 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 ever. But I should say one demographic. And that is the... It's not a skin color thing, it's the... It's. I, I mentioned it earlier in one of the other videos about the... Uh, uh, racist dress codes. You know, the thing that, that that's trying to address we are we are not allowed to profile. We are not allowed to prejudge. We can prejudge all these other things, but that we're not allowed to prejudge it. We're not allowed to see this yo 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 g yo kind of thing that anyone with any any skin color, any complexion, any hairstyle could have. But if we see that, we're not supposed to judge it. Or prejudge it. Now, to me, as long as we're not treating someone who acts like that really poorly, I don't think it should be an issue. Now, I'm sort of going against that video because I'm I, in saying this to some degree, I guess. And this is, this is where some hypocrisy comes into place, and I think we all have some hypocrisy within ourselves. And that is, it is kind of negative to not allow people who would match that demographic into a club. But, but... <laughs> If the stereotypes about that demographic are true, that that particular demographic is very typically not very gay friendly, how should that be handled? You know? But, uh, I don't know. We all prejudge, or we wouldn't be here. Um, 
if I see a, a Muslim man dressed in full garb, you know, I'm going to assume that I shouldn't say or do anything that might lead them on to thinking that I'm gay. Or I might get treated. I might not necessarily treated, but I might get looked at poorly. Now, most people, I mean, most Muslims, if even if they fully believe that that I'm I that gay people are terrible, uh, they're not going to generally outright treat someone gay terribly because they they don't want to match the bad stereotype you think of in the Middle East. <laughs> 